Camarillo Mochela reports in the Independent Line today that Action SA ANC Coalition Schwani is off to a rocky start as Herman Mishaba puts forward his candidate for mayoral position. Now, this is already becoming an old story. Now, presumably, this story in the IOL is one about offering insight into the negotiations between Action SA and the African National Congress over who will be the next mayor, only it's not that at all. The Newsroom Africa interview the author references is about a lot of stuff, but Mashaba made it clear in that interview that he would not discuss ongoing negotiations with the media. So what did they talk about? Hmm. Well, nonetheless, the IOL story and Mashaba's interview on Newsroom Africa are both revealing and newsworthy. Folks, this is Chris Wyatt reporting from South Africa. And I want uh, ANC to understand that we are going to engage with them in good faith. In good faith? Hmm. What? Engage with the ANC in good faith? So what was this all about a year ago in August at Emperor's Palace in Campton Park at the conclusion of the multi-party charter negotiations when I interviewed Herman Mashaba? Why is he negotiating with the ANC after what he had to say just a year ago? Watch this. So it was a very necessary process, uh, project, but really very difficult because there were certain things for us which were not negotiable. Once there was, you know, the one was uh, any party that was prepared to work with the ANC for, for us. You're done. Yeah, no. And uh, I think God came to our rescue after really putting our argument as to why it would be irresponsible, why for us as Section SA, I can tell you for us as Section SA, if we work with ANC, our party will collapse overnight. This, our party was given a mandate with, at, at formation by 2.4 million South Africans, scientifically. And one thing that uh, they've made it clear to us, under no circumstances uh, we, we can go into any arrangement with the ANC. are using threats and uh, arrogance. Uh, Action SA will never pull out of uh, negotiations because we don't get what we want. Never pull out of negotiations because we don't get what we want? <laughs> Folks, have we all been tripping on shrooms for the past month? Is that not exactly what the Action SA party has done in Shwani? Throwing their toys out of the pram because they didn't get what they want? We, we know we're not clever, and the, some people have accepted my race not to be clever. And I, you know, but we're not fools. <laughs> mm -hmm. What I'm trying to say is that we are not clever, and some people have accepted my race not to be clever. But we are not fools. What? Some people accepted my race not to be clever? Come again? What people? The African National Congress? Presumably this is a dog whistle to call someone a racist. Who exactly is Herman Mashaba targeting with this gratuitous remark? Well, he must be talking about negotiations with the African National Congress since he's collapsed the coalition with the DA. So he's implying the ANC thinks that his race, homo sapiens, is not clever? Or is he talking about skin pigmentation? So the question is, does Herman Mashaba actually think that Gauteng ANC spokesperson Lasejo Makubela and Greater Chwane Regional Secretary George Machila are racist? Somehow I don't think so. So why that comment in the first place? Odd to say the least. Unless of course one sees this comment as a dig at the Democratic Alliance, the party which Action SA used threats and arrogance towards to pull out of conversations with the party in order to collapse the ruling coalition in Shwani. Of course, the DA is the only multiracial major party in South Africa, so maybe he does mean the African National Congress. In any case, this is very strange. Why inject race into a conversation about the ANC? Meanwhile, Mochela reports that Gauteng chairperson Panyaza Lusufi told Helen Zilla to jump because she will never dictate terms to the ANC. You will never dictate terms to us, members of the ANC. Never! You can bring all your media friends and media houses. The ANC is not for sale. The ANC is one. There's no provincial ANC nor local ANC. We are one ANC, not a federal movement. That's what he said on Twitter. Well, few problems with that statement. Number one, <laughs> if you're friends in the media, uh, the friends in the media are friends of the ANC. 
not really of any other political party, definitely of the ANC. The media are very harsh and critical of anything the Democratic Alliance does. So friends of the media, I think you got this backwards, Rocco. And the ANC is not for sale. <laughs> Either your nose is growing as you sit there, Mr. Sufi, <laughs> whom Ellen Zilla now sarcastically calls Lai Sufi, and I can see why, uh, or you're just dishonest. You're just dishonest or you're ignorant of history. The ANC is not for sale. That's exactly what the ANC is for sale. ANC is for sale to enrich itself and its, its favored caters. My goodness. Why do you think there's an international court of justice case against Israel? There's no international court, international court of justice case against Sudan's rowing government, against Myanmar on the part of the ANC, against a host of other genocidal maniacs around the world. But they go after Israel. Why? Because Tehran told them to do so. The ANC very much is for sale. And there was one ANC before you started acting like your own authority and breaking away from the party. So don't try to pretend there's unity in the party. This is a message not for the media, not for you and me. It's a message for the leadership structures and the National Executive Council for the ANC. A threat to them. That's what that message is. Folks, the African National Congress in Gauteng remains obsessed with Helen Zilla, a person who's not even in the 20 city council. This is clearly a sign of fear on their part. Either that or they're simply racist and misogynist gratuitously attacking the DA federal chair to drum up hatred within their own ranks to force the ANC national leadership to stay out of their affairs in Gauteng. We saw the rude comments on Monday this week when ANC First Secretary General Nombulo Monyokane also told the media that Zilla must have a thick skin and not sulk whenever things don't go her way. There has to be consistency. We are not crybabies. When a decision is taken against us or people opt to collaborate, we don't have an issue. That's where we need to help Helen. <laughs> you cooperate when you lose. <laughs> All you've done since the municipal elections of 2016 and 2021 is endlessly attempt to collapse the structures and the councils and the governance of every metro you lost control of, whether it's Nelson Mandela Bay, Cape Town, Johannesburg, Schwane, it doesn't matter. That's your M.O., you do not collaborate when you lose. You undermine and lie. And then you go to your friends in the media and run racist stories attacking the most multiracial party in all of South Africa. This is ironic. I don't defend the DA, but I do defend the truth. One third white, one third color, one third uh, black, white and Indians in there too. But yeah, the party is evenly split pretty much across the board about who votes for them. Meanwhile, the ANC is almost entirely black South Africans. So let's get the story straight. <sighs> <laughs> Yikes. You know, folks, I have to say that the ANC's two decades of envy and hatred for the one woman effective at exposing their corruption, incompetence, and foolishness remains alive and flourishing in the party's ANC structures in Hauteng, anyway. Now, this despite Helen Zilla having saved the ANC the ignominy of falling out of governance by bringing the Democratic Alliance into the socialist cabal called the GNU, thereby keeping the ANC in control of South Africa. Talk about looking a gift horse in the mouth. Helen Zilla saved the ANC <laughs> from ignominy and embarrassment. And the gratitude is hatred coming from the Gauteng structures. It's all about staying in power, folks. They don't hate Helen Zilla. They probably don't even think she's a racist. But they certainly will say anything and do anything to stay in power. This is the MO of political parties the world over. Why should the ANC be any different? What say you? Cheers, folks. <laughs>